Coming up, a major step forward in public safety for Douglas County. Learn how a SPLOST-funded project is making our community safer. Douglas County residents connect with Commissioner Ricky Dobbs at his lively end-of-summer community chat. Commissioner Martin Raxton discusses the upcoming T-SPLOST question with citizens. And Vice Chair Mark Alcarez plays a key role on a committee helping to shape leadership training across the state. These stories on this edition of Inside Douglas County. Douglas County officials cut the ribbon on a new sidewalk connecting New Manchester High School to Boundary Waters Park, marking a significant milestone in community safety. The parents around our community have expressed concerns about students and their ability to walk to campus. And I'm excited today that the county has heard that and, and taken the steps to correct that to make it safer for students to get here. Most of our students come from the neighborhoods right next to the school and directly across the street. This sidewalk today makes it so much easier and safer for students to walk to school. The project includes a Hawk traffic signal to ensure maximum pedestrian safety in the heavily traveled residential area. So as you get here and you're ready to cross, you press a button and you wait for the signal to go green for pedestrians. What's happening up there is it first flashes yellow for traffic, giving them a fair warning, and then it goes all red. When it goes all red, you get a pedestrian go-ahead sign in the uh, signal pole, and then we can cross, start the crosswalk. Uh, what, what you'll see is that traffic is instructed on the both side to come to a complete stop, basically enforcing a red light. And if, God forbid, somebody was to break this, this will be enforced as if they're breaking a red light. One of the things that I'm most passionate about is positive mental health and physical health, and I feel like this project is well on our way to making sure that our students and community members have that available to them. This project is the fourth in a series of sidewalk projects completed in the area, including Lithia Springs Elementary School, Chestnut Log Middle School, and Maxim Road. Everybody watching this clip can see the cars go by right out in front of New Manchester High School and recognize that it's even more busy early in the morning during the time the students walk to school. So this sidewalk is incredibly important and for that we're deeply grateful. Community spirit was in full swing as District 1 Commissioner Ricky Dobbs Jr. hosted his end of summer community chat where residents came together for great music, lively discussions, fun activities, and free resources. I want to get one more last opportunity to connect with the community before and everybody gets back in the groove of school and work while the kids are gone. Uh, so I just want to get everybody to come out here and have a good time and answer any kind of questions or concerns. District 3 Commissioner Martin Raxton fielded input at the fourth TSPLOS Community Engagement Meeting. So at the end of the day, it's up to us to make sure that we have the infrastructure in place to support new residents, new businesses, new economic development, and to ensure that our residents' lives are improved. Missed it? Join us at the next one on August 27th or visit the TSPLOS page on our website. Congratulations to Vice Chair and District 4 Commissioner Mark Alcarez, who was one of just seven commissioners statewide asked to serve on a committee drafting curriculum for newly elected commissioners. Thanks for watching Inside Douglas County. Make sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date.